We started with our heart wanting to feed our family. And I think our leaders started seeing that and started pushing into doing something for our community. When I hear of stories of Tawasa First Nation being able to roam the lands and we'd have thousands and thousands of members, there was a community here that was connected to Mother Earth. And that's what we're trying to do right now is connect back to the land. To reclaim that over time, I, I believe in my heart, is what TFN members want and is looking for. One of our major goals with this farm is to bring the community together by sharing something we all experience every single day, and that's food. So right now how we're involving the farm into the community is we're providing for our programs and alleviate them having to go purchase produce elsewhere. And we're bringing food straight to members' tables, those who need it and those who just want it. So last week we did a canning workshop with the community. It was really nice as a, a new farm to be able to bring so much produce for the members to be able to can, as well as just another opportunity to bring some of our excess produce. It's nice to have those community events where we can just bring excess amounts of food and send people home with bags of produce. We've been having um, youth coming every summer, learning how to grow for themselves and seeing the food going back into their community. That's how, as a nation, we grow, is when we spark that fire, how big, how, how little it is, but just to put that little bit of spark and let them run with it. Close to the end of the season, I got to do harvesting, which was a blast. Me and Farmer Mac just put it into bins and we drove it down to the Elder Center, the Youth Center, and the daycare for all the people to enjoy. I feel pretty happy about it, that when I was giving away the food because I knew that I was the one who grew it and that there was no preservatives and it was all healthy food. We need to be able to find ways to make sure that we're connecting to the youth and making sure they understand the significance. There's so many opportunities for TFN to spread the concept behind growing on TFN lands. To me, the youth is the future. Cultural revitalization is ongoing. We try to bring culture to the forefront when we're having events. We'll hire our cultural team to come and sing and do a prayer over our event to set us off in, in a good place. We're just finding our way again uh, and connecting our, our language, our culture, our youth, our elders, the land, the soil, the water. It's not something that you can just articulate into words. It's a feeling that you feel when you're at peace, that everything is connected at some point. We're creating memories and healing things at times as well. And this farm is a, a very spiritual place for people to come, spend time, and just get back to a beautiful aspect of life that we've sort of forgotten. With farming, I've always felt that there's healing in it. More of like a, community gathering place. So yes, it's a farm and it's working. At the same time, we can come here and enjoy it and learn. Maybe it's a fairy tale, but I would hope that one day that we could share the land again, making sure that we leave no person behind. The Silesium Farm has been a growing project. When people ask about the vision, it's a vision that will always grow. I can't say where it's gonna go, but I just know that with the community supporting it, the passion behind that, that's what's gonna keep it running.